Hi there guys, welcome to my channel, welcome back if you're a subscriber. Uh, today's very short video is to discuss the latest released version of Lana Del Rey's Did You Know That There's a Tunnel Under Ocean Boulevard? Those that watch me regularly know that um, a month or so ago I purchased this. This was uh, an indie store exclusive um, of Lana Del Rey's latest record. Um, it's on green vinyl, lime green vinyl. Um, what I'd actually done before I bought this, because I, I, I pre-ordered the um, web store only um, release, but that wasn't due for release until it was first slated for June, and then they put the release date back to the beginning of July, so that's only just come out. So. I had a bit of time to wait, I couldn't wait, so I bought this, so I had something to listen to. Um, this is not bad actually, there's been quite a few reviews on Discogs saying that there's no feel on this and the sound quality is not as good as it could be, um, possibly because it's uh, coloured vinyl, I don't know, but anyway, I, I really like the album, there's probably only one or two tracks on it that I'm not that 100% keen on. Uh, Peppers is one, um, I can't think of the other one, but yeah definitely Peppers, I, I can't get into that, it's just, I think it's probably because it's a bit hip hoppy, and I'm not into hip hop, but um, yeah, so we've got this, but the latest one that's come out, as you can see from the thumbnail, and from the uh, explicit content um, warning at the beginning of the video is that the uh, web store only release has just come out. I pre-ordered this a couple of months ago and it's just come through and there she is in all her glory. Um, I actually think it's a lovely photograph of her. Let's uh, show you the back. In the gatefold. Show you the records one by one to see in a sleeve. These come in card inners. Does need a bit of a clean. I have tried cleaning it to play it. Um, Now, the first thing I done when I checked, when I, when I received this record, that's the second record, and I'll just show you the uh, inner sleeve. The first thing I did when I got this record was to check the matrix numbers against the, uh, against this one and they're different, they're totally different. Um, reason being, it's a new mastering, there's actually a track missing um, on this, the Judah Smith interlude is missing off of this, which I think is, on this version, it's the first track of the second side, but it's totally missing from this. Why they left it out, I do not know, um, but they have. Um, but yeah, so let's, uh, I have played this, um, it sounds really really good, um, I'm going to do a comparison between this and the coloured vinyl version to see if there's any difference in the mastering, it was mastered by the same mastering engineer uh, from what I can see on the dead wax, um, so there's no difference there, it was pressed at GZ or GZ media in the Czech Republic, um, I believe this was the same, so same mastering, same pressing plant, um, but yeah, so there you go, this is the um, explicit cover version of, um, did you know that there's a tunnel under Ocean Boulevard? Now, 
as I said in my previous video, when she done the photo shoot for the cover, I think I read somewhere that they took about 65 photographs for the cover. And they're bringing out different versions of the album with different artwork, and this is one of them. There was also a nude one, which they're not using, but they, they've used this one. Um, and yeah, it's uh, a very sultry looking Lana Del Rey on there. Um, this, I received this two days ago. This cost me 30 something pounds plus shipping was about 40 quid um, it's already doubled that on, on Discogs so as you know with Lana Del Rey's web store only exclusives they rock it in price um, so I'm fully expecting this one to go through the roof at some point in the future um, obviously it's, it's limited uh, I don't know how many copies there are of it but um, it is a limited edition, <coughs> it is exclusive to the Lana Del Rey web store. I don't know if there's still any available, let's see, let's have a look. Lana Del, Lana Del Rey. Let's have a look, see, eh? Order now, let's see what's available except all. Right, so so the explicit cover version of this is no longer available now. That's uh that's now gone. Not to be repeated, there's probably only a couple of thousand copies, I guess, I don't know. I, I did pre-order this two months ago. So that's basically it. Um, it does sound good. Um, I think it's a little bit quieter than the green vinyl version. Um, but I'll, like I say, I will do a comparison between the two. Uh, it's obviously a digital recording, they're not recording a tape. So it's a digital DSD uh, mastering. Which is okay, I'm, I'm happy, I'm fine with that. You expect it with modern um, record, modern records. So, um, unless they specifically say this has been recorded to tape and then cut from tape. You've got to assume that everything's digital nowadays because it's cheaper um, and it's less hassle. Um, but yeah, uh, that's it for today. Just a quick... Um, um, uh, a quick review of the latest version version of Lana Del Rey's uh, Ocean Boulevard album. Um, like I say, explicit cover, uh, not available in the shops, uh, web store only, totally sold out from what I can see on her website. Already creeping up, it's doubled in price already on Discogs for a sealed copy. Um, I think a lot of people are buying these just to flip them because every copy on Discogs is sealed. People aren't buying it, listening to it, and they're just buying it to flip, earn some money out of it. And there's one on there that's £125 already, and it's only been out two days. So, you know, um, I'm not going to flip it. I ordered this first, actually, before I bought the other version. I only bought the other version because... I wanted to hear the album um, and I could have streamed it I guess but I don't really stream to be fair so but anyway we'll leave it at that um, that's the end of today's video um, I've got loads coming up over the next few weeks but I'm being held back by pre-order dates I have pre-ordered a few uh, records that are not being released yet and i've forgotten the release dates i'm hoping uh, one or two of them are going to arrive this week um yeah i've got a few bits and pieces coming up over the next few weeks so uh, um keep tuned in and i'll catch you in the next one cheers bye bye <laughs>